Hi everyone! Welcome to our Wellness Wednesday Live on Planet Wellness. If you're watching live, please say hello in the comments below. And if you're watching on the replay, please type in hashtag replay. So today we're going to continue on our topic of the benefits of purple black potatoes. Over to you, Ronald. So, um, you're in for a treat because um, most people, for, I've, I've observed people for the last 40, 50 years, right? And most people love what are called eating chips, right? And this is why the big companies, like the hamburger type companies, they, that's why they sell you chips or French fries. Um, but it wasn't the French that invented it. It was the Americans that invented it. And they make chips out of white potatoes. Now, as a vegetable, I think the white potato is one of the worst vegetables you can eat, right? Because the white potato is very dangerous because it, it, it is a big production of simple sugars, okay? Now, what I mean by simple sugars is that when you eat a white potato, whether it's in a chip form or a mash form or fried form, it will deliver a huge amount of simple sugars uh, in the stomach and from there to the pancreas. And when the pancreas senses the amount of simple sugars being dumped in, into this into the stomach system, it will de deliver a huge amount of insulin, pancreatic enzymes, and will overload the pancreas and hence you start getting pre-diabetic conditions. And eventually, if you don't listen to your body, you'll get diabetes. So I would strongly recommend as a start, do not, from now on, do not ever buy potatoes white skin potatoes or and because the white skin potatoes indicate the white skin the white uh, flesh inside i'm going to give you a fantastic alternative and uh, i've i've be, because i've got a french background from my grandmother's side i'm very aware of the mediterranean foods and the ones that the italians eat the greeks eat the spanish eats and the french eats and Today I'm going to speak to you about a, a particular potato which is available at the moment. Now, I've been watching for the last 10 years, I've been watching the type of potatoes in season in England. And this particular potato, I'm going to show it to you. All right, this particular potato is is here. It's a purple looking potato. You see that? It is, it is in fact, it's so strongly purple. All right, have a look at that. It's so strongly purple. It is almost black. Inside is the same color. So outside is that color and inside it's a bluish purple. Now, why is, why is that so good? That purple color is extremely beneficial for your eyes. And, and you're going to think, what? Potato good for the eyes? Yes, because an anthocyanin, or anto, A-N-T-H-O-C-Y-A-N-I-N, an anthocyanin is a particular antioxidant that is so strong Right, in the white potato, you've got a small amount of anthocyanin, but in the purple potato, like this one, right, you have three to four times more, three to four times more. The problem you've got is that it's it, because it's a French potato and it's grown in a certain part of France. I'm pretty sure it comes from the Provence. Uh, it's only available in England about six weeks. That's it. The season is six weeks. It comes in for the six weeks, like now, right? And then that's it, all over. So what I'm doing is I'm buying a couple of kilos of that and I'm going to let them shoot and I'm going to start planting them in the back of the garden to so that my our garden has got these purple potatoes available, right? Now, this anthocyanin, really focus on that for a minute. This anthocyanin is one of the rare antioxidants that can physically go in the back of the eye feed the macula, feed the actual cornea, feed the skin of the eye, and so on and so on and so on. And you can see the difference in your my vision when you've eaten about two or three of those, right? Like that. Now, let me give you a list of some of the benefits. It's got vitamin A in it, which is beta carotene. It's got vitamin B6, right? It's got folate, which is folic acid, good for pregnant women, right? It's got it's got uh, magnesium, it's got manganese, it's got zinc, and so on and so on. You get the idea. Now, what we do here to make sure we get 
a huge number of extra minerals. The, the ones you grow commercially, they will have the manganese, they'll have the zinc, they'll have the magnesium, they'll have the phosphorus, but th that's quite good. But if you grow the, the potatoes that we intend to grow, which is we use a, a rock dust minerals, which got 80 minerals in it, so when we when we plant our potatoes, the, the purple ones, we'll be also using the these minerals, which come from Scotland from Macquarie over there, and these these this rock dust is a grey colour, is absolutely chock block with eighty minerals. That's that's mac macro minerals as well as micro minerals. So you'll also get the the magnesium, the the the, um, the zinc, and so on and so on. But you'll also get the trace minerals like selenium, molybdenum, and all, all the little trace minerals, they all play part in the health of every cell in your body, right? So when you're looking at potatoes, now if you're used to eating chips, you're not understanding the value, the nutrition of the purple potato. One more outstanding feature, if you get an egg, like an organic egg or free range egg, you cook it properly, it'll give you six grams of protein per egg, right? When you eat one potato that big, look at the size of my hands, right? And then look at the size of potato, can you see? That big, that gives you 4.8 grams of protein. So it's almost the same protein as an egg, which is amazing, because the egg is one of the most power-packed protein foods it condensed in one place, right? So I'm going to give you a recipe now um, where that, like I said, because you can only get this between six to eight weeks a year, try and get, try and buy some and, and get about a couple of kilos and use one kilo for planting and it will grow in good compost here in England. It will grow, right? So in about, if you put it in now, you'll get, you'll get potatoes around, um, Probably November, November, December. So then you you'll have you want you won't be allowed to go you won't need to go to the shop because you'll have your own fresh potatoes full of minerals. Now, what happened to make the potato even more when you cook the potato dish? When you cook the purple potato, we have this monster here. <laughs> Look at the size of it. That is a purple potato, but it's more mauve. It's more mauve. What do you call? mauve which is a light purple you get the idea now this is a sweet potato right sweet now look at the size of it so that would fit <laughs> that you look, you look at that you, know, you look at the size of it it's huge isn't it so now for two people right you you get one like that that big the, the, the sweet potato and you get one like that and you slice them you, you wash it and you slice them all the way through slice that one into, into what we call round it, rondelles like that. You steam it. Now, very important. When you, whilst you're slicing it, you're boiling your water in the steamer. That's the way, that's the way you retain top nutrition. You, 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 you wash this, you're slicing it. As you're slicing it, your, your, your kettle or your, your steamer is working away. And when the steam is actually coming out to the top pan, that's where steamer is, you put your sliced potatoes, sweet and purple, in there, and then you cover it. And, and then you, you watch it, because depending on the, on the level of the steam, you watch it until you get a knife, a sharp point, a knife, and you push. If, once you push the knife through and it easily goes through the flesh, that is now cooked. Don't overcook it. Once it's got that that ability to be pierced by a sharp knife, right? you don't have to force it, just push it through like that, you'll see it break apart. That is now a ready to make, ready to, 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 uh, to add other things. Now, you take the slices out of the steamer, don't run hot water, to, cold water to it, run, put it in the steamer, put it into a pot, and you add, you add a red onion, a beige looking onion right which is a cream color onion so a red onion but you can use a couple of shallots six cloves of garlic right yum yum right six cloves of garlic garlic and potatoes the way this way is magic right you can also get wild garlic which is green leaves and you can even add stinging nettle if you've got stinging nettle growing fast so 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 the purple potato sweet potato uh, garlic Onion, red onion, purple, uh, light onion, shallots, shallots 
Um, you can even have the small little purple onions like that. And then you can, you can also add about three or four stalks of celery, right? And then you put that in a, in a blender like a Nutribullet. You put all that stuff in a Nutribullet. You put about a glass of goat's milk, goat's milk, right? Put that in. You can even get some ghost cheese. And then you put a teaspoon or so of sel de Guerin, which is one of my favorite salts, ours. And then you blend it, right? And you put that on the plate and you add olive oil to it at that point in time. Talk about delicious. You have got no idea. You Once you do this dish the way I've just spoken, you will never eat a white potato again, right? Now do this dish while you can and watch your eyes and your skin and your hair and your muscle structure improve over that six or eight weeks period, right? But definitely good advice, go and buy some Keep one kilo or so to, to plant in your, you can, you can, you can, you know, you can plant them in rubber tires, you know that? You can put rubber tires on top of each other, put your compost in there, put the potatoes, let it grow, and then mill it. But I, I prefer to put in the beds, in the actual beds. You need to sink them about three, two to three inches below the top and uh, cover it, push it down, put a bit of lawn clippings on top, give it a good water, and away you go. Right? So we look forward to getting your feedback on where you are buying your purple potatoes because I'd love to know where you buy them in London. Thank you very much for listening. Okay, I hope you found that useful. If you did, give us a heart, like, care or wow emoji so that we can help this video reach a wider audience. And we yes. see Donna watching. Hello, yes. Donna. Hello, Donna. I hope How are you, you found it useful. Yes. Please tag your friends as well if you... Think they they would like to have mm. a look at this video as well. Yes, and I will also post the link to some of our ebooks which we've uh, prepared on psoriasis and also diabetes. You can download these for free, and uh, do also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel Planet Wellness. You'll actually uh, I'll also post a link in in the comments below as well. You can learn a lot more from us. Yeah. Till next time, take care. I'll just add one extra clue. If you look carefully here, you'll see like a little, little, a little stub. See this little light, like a little tooth there. Can you see where my, my finger is? Now that is the start of the shoot from the purple potato. That's the start of it. There's another one here. You can see it like that, right? Now you can put that in the sun and let those shoots come out. When they come out about a centimeter, they're ready to go. They're ready to be planted because that's the way the root system works, right? So you can, I prefer to cut the cut two or three of the, you know, the actual potato where you get the, the, the stump or the, the, the stem that comes out. And that's the one I plant, right? You don't have to put the whole potato in, but certainly put the ones that have got these, these uh, stems coming out. But one centimeter or more, they're ready to, to shoot. And like I said, plant them two or three inches below the compost and then stamp it down and then give it a good water. And, uh, and water it about every four days. Give it a good water and, and you'll see it shoot. And the way you know it's ready is about two or three months from now, you'll see the, the stem, so the, the stem grows out. You'll see flowers on it and they will dry up. And they'll, you'll you wait till they're completely dry. That means that the potato is now at that size, ready to go and ready to be plucked and be eaten. Now, for every potato, every Say six potatoes you 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 bring you bring you collect, to keep one for your seeds for the next year, right? They they will stay, all right. Keep it in a, a dark spot, and you can plant them again next year around springtime. Thank you. Okay, enjoy your potatoes, and see you next time. Bye bye. Yeah.